My name is Marco Williams. Uh, I often refer to myself as a filmmaker and a film educator. The name of my film is Lonnie Holly, The Truth of the Dirt. Lonnie is, he is a remarkable individual. He is a man who has suffered uh, the um, indignities and the brutalities of the Jim Crow era in the American South. His sort of blossoming of, of, of expression began out of tragedy. One of his siblings, uh, there was a fire, and two of her kids uh, died in the fire. And Lonnie uh, created tombstones for them. And, and not, not in the sense of like a square uh, with etching of, you know, but, but faces and, and, and expression. And that in many ways began his his, I think perhaps our recognition of, of him as somebody who made things that really gave us pause. Lonnie's artwork, you know, has moved from, you know, perhaps these tombstones to sculptures that hang on walls, that have figures on it that are made out of doors or, or chairs or, all of it has a narrative. Many people would refer to Lonnie as a outside artist, a vernacular artist, a self-taught artist, but I don't use any of those terms for Lonnie. Lonnie is an artist, and the most special, inspiring aspect of Lonnie is that he makes art out of junk. Uh, I use pretty well any means as an artist, but it, they're most of the means of of somebody's trash, garbage, and debris that I work with, something that they throw away, they don't no longer want, uh, and they don't see the values in them. And I'm trying to bring those values pretty well to to fruition in the brain. Lonnie taps into this this wonderful vein. He taps into our uh, innocence, our spirit of childhood, where we all believed if we reflect back that we could make anything and our parents used to tell us it was beautiful. This is a beautiful piece. My, 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 my. And a glove. Oh, man, this is gonna make it. Hello. Well, hello there. Goodbye. What you weigh, you want the glove to weigh. So the biggest challenge about Lonnie is that his greatest expression is his artwork. But equal to that, or, or 1A to that, is that Lonnie exp expresses through words in a way that is fantastical. It is not, it's a, it's a continuous stream of consciousness. This grandmother had asked her child to do something, and he put his hand in his pocket, and he told her, hell, he wasn't gonna do nothing. So then she had to cry. So this is the rag that dried her eyes. And she said, wait a minute, let me tell you something before you go. She asked him, she said, take a deep look in my eye because pretty soon I'll be dead and gone and your eye will be left and it'll be strong. So you have the two faces. Then she told him about the ancient ruins that he could not see. And then she said, my son, I love thee. Lonnie is a jazz musician, continually improving. His mind is a million miles a minute. So verbally, that was the first challenge. The second challenge was the realization of just what you've observed, that, that if you were to just, just being a, a, a shadow to Lonnie means that at any and every moment, he's gonna stop and discover something and start to create. And so the hardest thing was to keep up with him. Well, I am so glad to have my film on Afropop. Uh, uh, you know, I think this feels exactly home for this film. I, you know, Afropop is a celebration of uh, the African diaspora and our creativity and our voice, and it is a it is a platform that that is not restrictive. It doesn't insist on particular format or structure or convention and it 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 
if you will, and I don't really want to say it this way, but Afropop embraces the unconventional. It celebrates who we are as creative people and artists. I got to make this film about him, but I will always now carry that, that awareness that there's magic, that there's beauty everywhere. And, and so Lonnie inf influences me as a human being. And it's not that I can see uh, art in pieces of trash or garbage, but I, I, I have come to believe that it is possible to create anything at any time.